What is up? What is going on? Dave at SVA Card Collectors. The man, the myth, the legend. Typically, I don't do videos. I do my podcast where I can hide off to the side. I chill um, and I talk nonsense. I ramble on and stuff like that. Um, I want to talk real briefly about how you guys can go about buying blasters, hangers, cards from Target and Walmart. Um, a lot of people go, well, when do you go? Like, when's the time that people um, put these boxes out? Um, distributors put the, the boxes out so you can go uh, get them. Typically, um, it's going to be from the times 10 a.m. to like 2 p.m. That is going to be the prime time. And this is going to be, well, duh, thanks, Dave, Monday through Friday. Uh, that's really the main time that they go. Um, now, you do have people that do it at nights, and you do have peop uh, times when they do it on weekends. But most of the time, I'm going to say 75, 80% of the time around the country, that's the time that they're doing it. Um, really, it's going to be about communication and um, making friends. Um, it's going to be how well you can schmooze. You're going to have to talk to managers. And then from the managers, you're going to have to talk to the distributors. And you have to um, become friends with them. Do whatever you have to do to get information of when they're going to be going, what day. Because sometimes it even changes. Sometimes it isn't every Thursday or every other Thursday. Um, for the most part, it is. It'll, it'll be a certain date and time. But um, you got to know it. And you got to get online. And there's going to be a lot of people um, online waiting. And it's gross and it's disgusting. But if you're not the first guy there, one guy could just clear out the whole thing. Now, Target has changed. I don't know about Walmart where they, a lot of stores have where you could just have to, you can only buy three uh, at a time. Um, so that helps out. But still, if you're only getting 12 blasters or 24 blasters and is, you, know, you can only buy three, it's not that many people. So you have to either be really lucky and see that they're there and go grab it. Um, or you need to start making friends. It, and that's what the hobby is really all about is uh, making friends. Now, this um, is somewhat of a scumbaggish thing that people feel. Um, it, I shouldn't say scumbaggish thing because I, I don't personally think it is. Um, it's the survival of the fittest, man. No, um, it's people want to make money. People want to flip and you can buy a blaster for 20 bucks and sell it for 60 on eBay. So you're going to make 40 bucks. You'll make less with you have to take out the fees and the shipping and not just like that. But um, in general terms, it's pretty good. So if you spend a couple hundred bucks and get a thousand, why not? And so people have been clearing, just buying everything. Um, and everyone goes, well, then the kids don't get it. The kids aren't able to buy it. There's no kids buying sports cards. There's not too many of them. They're buying Yu-Gi-Oh! They're buying Pokemon. They're buying that stuff. Um, yeah, there's some kids that do want to buy it, but um, it's pretty expensive. Um, and so I've never seen on a line kids waiting on line with their dads. Nine times out of ten, it's just adults. Um, it's grown men with diapers, and they look, you know what they look like. If you go to a card show, they look exactly the same. They're, they're generally a heftier type of, of, of guy. Um they usually have mustard. They have stuff on their face. They look unkept. They have a little tinge of stench. Um, all attributes that eventually I will have. Um, <laughs> but I don't. I actually don't wait anymore. I used to. Um, but one of the best ways is buying gift cards for people. Buying gift cards for managers. And people go, that's crazy. I'm not spending that. I'm not doing that. Um, some people hold boxes. They'll hold boxes for you. Now, they're not supposed to, but I'm just telling you from experience, it happens. They'll let you go in the back and just, hey, just pick whatever you want, man. Thanks a lot for um, I'm, I'm holding stuff and making noise. That's really good for a video. Um, where they hold the box in the back and they let them pick out, you know, pick out. Just pick, uh, pick the cards out. Um, there's a lot of things that um, that can happen if you are you know, thinking about them, uh, have, having conversations with them and then listening. That's really what is important thing. Just listening to them. Just go, Hey, what's going on, man? 
what are your problems? What are your issues? It sounds stupid. And you'd be like, well, what, what the hell is anyone going to care about their problems, their issues? It's just being a normal human being. Maybe I shouldn't say issues, but just have a conversation with the person. Um, they'd be like, man, I've been working like crazy hours or this and that. Here's, yeah, here's a Starbucks card because I know you're working hard. You're pretty tired probably. This would you know, keep you up. Something that will make them think, hey, I can't believe this guy remembered the conversation we had. Um, they're going to rather you get the box of cards than some other schmuck uh, who gets the cards. Um, dude, there's people outside of the sports card world. That's what they do. They take care of people. Um, and so if you want to get those cards at that cheap price, you're going to have to spend a little bit. If you have to spend $15 on a gift card and you're able to get $20 boxes of cards that you can sell for $60, $70 um, throughout the year, you're going to do that all day. You're going to make your money back after one box. So those are some of the things that you can do. Or you just wait online. You just get there extra early and you just stand there. You figure out what time it is. You go every single day. Um, you go different times and you figure out when they're coming. And then that's that. So there's really no uh, secret recipe. There's no secret, you know, hey, it's, they always come on Wednesday. Um, that just doesn't happen. But getting good with managers, getting good with those distributors, the guys who are, you know, that are, I think it's MJ Holding is the, is the company. Um, they, he comes out there. They're opening up the boxes. They're putting them, you know, out there on the shelves. Get to know those guys because um, that's who you need to be friends with and that's who's going to, you know, enable you to, have an easier time of getting the boxes or just be able to get the boxes at all because right now it is pretty difficult. Um, now, will this be like this forever? I think it's going to be like this for a while and that's because I think box breakers, um, more importantly, uh, local car shops that have an online presence, they are telling people to go get them and I'll buy them from you. So let's just say you buy them for 20 they're buying them for 45 and they're breaking them for 70, you know, or, or 80 or something like that. Um, I don't think that's slowing down. That's not slowing down anytime soon. Um, so I think maybe we got a couple of years like this, unfortunately. But in either case, hopefully that helps you out. Head over to svacardcollectors.com. I have some good content over there, a lot of articles that you can learn about. Also, SVA Card Collectors, the podcast, I do that. I was doing it every day, but I can't do it every day anymore. My old lady, she's uh, bringing down the house on me. So I do it once a week, once every two weeks. Um, I'm going to try to keep to the once a week. Um, and basically, I give my take on sports collecting world. I am a late 30s now. I'm 39. Um, you know, man who just got back into the ha hobby a couple of years ago. A lot of things have changed. And so... I just talk about my experiences and things that I've learned. So when people are coming in who are around my age, they have a place to stop. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, later.